Hi guys, Subcast Dad here, and today we're going to be playing some Prison Architect. And uh, we are playing with a uh, mod called a Mental Architect, which makes our prison a mental institute instead. So as you see, I've been doing uh, some planning phase. Uh, I've got a bunch of the prison laid out already, and uh, some of that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but I promise you it will make sense as we get moving on everything and discuss what's going on. Uh, so this is the layout that we've got so far, so we're going to start going ahead and uh, build our foundations. Uh, we are going to make a concrete foundation. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, this is a drag and click uh, type deal, or click and drag, whatever. Um, and you just mark out your area like that, and then uh, your little guys will go fill that in. Uh, now you have to build the foundation so it builds a floor structure and all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, looks like it was blocked there by our other structure. I thought it should let me build over that, but apparently I was wrong. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is when I uh, add on a structure, it will uh, take away those uh, interior walls. Uh, so it'll just make one big open building at first right now. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pause it real quick. And uh, we're going to add our uh, doors so that uh, our workers have a way in and out. That's very important. You have to have uh, them for some way to get in there. Otherwise, they'll get trapped when they're building it. Then they can't go back and get supplies. And it just it gets real hectic. Uh tells you that it can't build certain things and it's just it's just a real pain so you want to make sure that you have doors in there so that they can get in and out um, typically I like to leave staff doors uh, so that way when they're constructing a wall or tearing down a wall or whatever the case may be uh, there's no way for the prisoners to get out and escape now the reason I don't use uh, the other uh, cell doors that uh, can be locked is because then you need a guard there to open the door uh, for your workers or you can open them manually but it's just a lot easier to leave a staff door and that way they can let themselves in and out as they need to go. Um, one of the last games I did uh, I actually tore down a fence too early and uh, didn't have any other uh, structure in place and I had three prisoners escape out of the hole so that was pretty messy so the next thing we want to do is we want to put down uh, our power supply, our generator, and a water pump so we have uh, electricity and, and running water. Now, uh, you use these uh, things here to... whoops. Uh, I neglected. We actually have to put down some uh, capacitors to uh, generate uh, that power. So then you just drag this uh, electrical cable through and it has a area of effect um, where it branches off of the main electrical and provides power. Uh, so sometimes if you don't run your electrical uh, conduit far enough or your electrical cable far enough then it uh, causes problems and you don't have the uh, proper electrical coverage. So you see my guys and they're running around and they're doing all their building and, and they're pretty serious about it. And so this is going to be our main structure for now. Um, and you can still see kind of uh, the other walls and stuff that I've drawn and the solid uh, dots those are uh, objects that are going to be placed it's I found it's a lot easier to do my planning and stuff and uh, actually mark those out so I know what's going on with it all so we're gonna run some more uh, electrical conduit and hopefully get some electricity through here so uh, that'll be nice for us so so these guys should actually be done with the foundation pretty soon and uh, there goes part of it and so it looks like we got this bottom area left to go and you see they're laying down the electrical there and so uh, there's our foundation pretty soon we should have some lights up uh, so we can see what's going on Oh, there we go. There's our lights, and you can see them installing the separate lights and lights up the areas. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put down some walls. Uh, we're going to use brick wall, I think. Um, and we're going to lay out what's going to be the office area. And so 
these are going to be the individual offices. We're going to mark this uh, other area off. That's going to be our uh, storage area, so we don't have to go all the way outside to supplies or to deliveries to get our supplies. We're just going to lay one big long stretch and remove uh, the little individual uh, doorways there. We're going to do the same thing up here, just like so. Remove the doorways and you can see them uh, putting down their walls there my good little workers and so now that's uh, our gonna be our office area up there and why don't I have lights uh, it's because I uh, laid down pipe instead of electrical well that was kinda silly of me wasn't it alright so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this fixed, and we will be back once we have uh, corrected this. Okay, so we've got the right thing laid down now, so it should be uh, bringing up our lights here once they get that stuff installed. So what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and lay out some water pipe uh, for what's going to be our shower area. And the area right next door to it where you see the other water piping, that is going to be our holding cells. Um, so you see these guys they're hard at work building stuffs and uh, we're gonna go ahead and lay out some more walls while they're laying down all that stuff uh, so we're gonna uh, mark this area off you see I have the staff door there that is so uh, only our staff uh, can get through up there to the offices and uh, yeah and I don't know what that door is doing there we're gonna make sure these are set right okay so that's where it's gonna be when it's locked so we need to uh, put our wall right on top of that and that's going to be correct uh, that cell that large jail door that should be um, its regular open position so it should be fine there too so we're gonna go ahead and finish uh, sectioning off these walls here and uh, we're gonna have this hallway here to go down in and you can also see that this time I used the right thing and uh, I have lights throughout my jail area the existing jail area so far so uh, we are actually starting to run pretty dangerously low on money right now but uh, we've got the main things taken care of we have electricity we have water uh, we have walls uh, we have a foundation here come our workers build our walls and look at those guys go they're just very serious about their job and I appreciate all of their hard work there um, so we're gonna move on to the next era thing which is going to be uh, getting our uh, offices operational which uh, you know see we're out of money now so that's gonna be a problem uh, we're gonna have to get some more money um, each area you need specific requirements to be met uh, before it can be operational um, the offices need a chair a office desk uh, and we're still out of money yay um, you need an office desk and you also need a file cabinet uh, before you can actually move your jail staff into their offices and that's like the warden um, we don't even have enough money to hire a warden. We need monies. We need monies bad. Um, do you get like your uh, warden needs an office, a uh, psychiatrist, the head psychiatrist needs an office, um, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to come over here. We're going to chop down a bunch of trees uh, because you can chop down the trees and sell the wood to make money for your prison our mental facility it's not really a prison um, and so we're gonna chop down a large area of trees over there and uh, then we're going to sell all that off and make some money so that we can do some more things so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of some other stuff while our maintenance staff takes care of that and you see them heading over there in the dark they're very loyal workers they are working all through the night for us to get our mental facility up and running and we appreciate all of their hard work so um, we're gonna go ahead and section off our areas here 
and you can see that it gives us our uh, prerequisites for uh, building an area there. So we're going to have our holding cell with a shower right beside of it. Um, down here is going to be our kitchen uh, where we will house our cooking staff. Um, and right next door to it is going to be our canteen, which is the cafeteria area. And so we've got that. And then we're going to, um, if I can find it, we're going to make our offices right here. We'll have eight offices in total. And like I said earlier, this is where we're going to hold all of our staff. This is where they will be housed and do their jobs from. And so right next to there, we're going to have a um, staff room, which is where our staff will go uh, to take their breaks and relax for a little while so they don't get too stressed out. Then up here, like I said, we're going to have our storage area. And that's where we will house all of our uh, extra stuff so we don't have to... Uh, uh, go all the way out to our delivery area to get that and you'll see that the uh, storage area has no prerequisites which is nice uh, so we're gonna sell off all this stuff and uh, make some monies so we can do some more things buy some stuff for our staff get their offices all ready for them uh, we can get our holding room already for uh, prisoner intake which you may have noticed uh, our prisoner intake is patient intake they're not prisoners they're patients our patient intake is turned off right now um, because we are not ready to house any inmates we need to have kitchen area ready and everything uh, so we can feed them before they get here uh, so we're going to get these offices ready. We're just going to set up four of them right now. Uh, try and save a little bit of money and uh, get ready for um, make sure they're oriented the right way. A little bit of my OCD at play there. Um, so once we get these offices ready, then the next step will be to hire a warden. Uh, and then we can start researching some of these other jobs. Uh, for the holding room we need benches and we need some toilets and that is all that is required in it uh, so we'll get that we'll get the uh, shower ready and uh, get the kitchen and canteens opened up and then our prisoners should be pretty happy at that point um, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting drains in the shower area so that our water will drain out and then I'm going to uh, if I can find the shower heads there it is. I will put the shower heads in. And just like so. And then as soon as our guys get those things in and installed, then we should have a um, operating holding room and shower cell, or shower area. And uh, so the next thing is going to be, um, let's see. Okay, there they go. There's of all of our wood that they so nicely stacked in there for us. So we're going to go ahead and sell all this stuff off real quick. And uh, let's see if there's any more just laying randomly out here. There's some. And Okay, so it looks like we got uh, a couple guys installing things for us while the rest of them are out there chopping wood. Um, like I said, hardworking guys. Couldn't ask for a better crew. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hire a head psychologist, um, which is our warden. Uh, well, we got to sell a little bit more wood first, so we're just going to do that. And now we can hire a head psychologist uh, because it's not a warden in this. Because we are not a prison, we are a mental facility. Um, I'm just going to sell off all this wood, get as much money as I can. And as you can see, it bumped us up almost $5,000. Um, so cutting down trees is a nice little way to make some profit uh, so now we can hire our head psychologist we're gonna put him right over here bam you get to live in that office oh he didn't like that office he wanted this office well that's fine um so let's see what do we need to do next okay um oh it looks like uh we forgot to supply power to our water pump, which uh, it won't work without that. So we need to get our water flowing so we can uh, have some toilets and stuff, uh, make the showers work. 
So we're just going to kind of wait this out for a little bit and uh, try and get some more money. We're going to sell this wood up here that they've got for us. Bam, just like that. And uh, I guess the next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get the cafeteria and the kitchen up and running. Uh, so that's going to be the next thing we need for the cafeteria. We need benches, tables, uh, serving tables, I believe. And uh, something else that we're going to also want to put in uh, is going to be uh, metal detectors on the doors uh, so they can't smuggle out forks and knives and stuff to use as weaponry and kill each other with because we don't want a bunch of dead bodies laying around in our mental facility. So I'm only going to build a few right now. Uh, oh, it looks like the serving tables are a little bit bigger than I, I anticipated. So that's not really a problem. It's uh, just not going to fit exactly how I laid it out in my planning phase, which is not really a problem. Um, we're going to get some of our uh, kitchen equipment in. Uh, we need fridges. We need... Uh, cookers and we need a sink uh, so we're gonna just put a couple things in here and that'll leave us room uh, for expansion later and it will also cut down on some of our uh, initial startup costs for now sinks cookers and fridges all need direct power and water supplies um, and I ran the electrical uh, right on top of this water here so we can uh, just put things down there, run them right along the wall, and, and we should uh, be fine there. Uh, as soon as they get power to my water pump, that is, uh, they're kind of slacking there, but you know, I've got them pretty busy chopping down wood right now. So we're going to put these, I don't know where I want to put these quite yet. Probably going to group them kind of together right here. Um, like so and then uh, we'll get our sink in wherever it is there it is we'll put our sink in uh, right there beside it just like whoops just like so so now we've got two of everything so we should be able to feed um, the general populace for the time being so we're going to go ahead and cut the episode here, and um, we will be back after our guys get everything in, and we will be ready for prisoner intakes. So I will see you guys next time at the Old Mental Asylum.